For anyone diagnosed with serious stomach or throat problems, they're likely destined for a hospital room like this. This would be the standard endoscope. It's the device typically used for an endoscopy, a fairly invasive procedure that involves anesthesia and inserting a camera down the patient's throat to see into the esophagus and stomach. So this is the piece that would go into the patient. Uh, and afterwards, they're fine, but they need to recover from the anesthesia and uh, or from the sedation. Then for the rest of the day, they have restrictions on their activities. At Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, that is about to change. You comfortable? I'm going to bring it up. Ed Burns has a pre-malignant condition called Barrett's esophagus, but instead of being sedated and having the endoscope put down his throat, he'll be examined by this pill-looking device. This is the capsule camera, and you can see it's on a tether, and we're just going to ask uh, Ed here to swallow this. Just take a sip of water and swallow it. Excellent. Okay, we're going to start imaging. So we're getting images, looks like. Good. Capsule endoscopy is not a new technology, but here's what is new. This device is reusable, and it instantly transmits 3D images of the esophagus through a thin fiber optic cable. And now we're in the esophagus. Dr. Gary Tierney developed the technology in his lab at Mass General. He saw the need for a simpler method to screen for esophageal disease. I think this is a real game changer for a diagnosis in the gastrointestinal tract. It's relatively inexpensive, it's very convenient, doesn't require sedation, can be done in just a few minutes and provides comprehensive microscopic images of the entire GI tract. He says the tethered pill device itself costs between two and three hundred dollars. It's a uh, device that we can sterilize and reuse uh, and we can reuse it up to ten times in our current protocol and as a result the per use cost is only about twenty or thirty dollars. Okay. Dr. Tierney claims that the images are better at detecting problems in the gastrointestinal tract than a traditional endoscopy, and that this procedure could even be done in a doctor's office. In the future, he sees the possibility of patients scanning themselves at home. You'll be able to have wireless versions of these devices that people can actually swallow at home, and it will transmit the images uh, to a remote location where they can be diagnosed. For now, the capsule camera is still in clinical trials and will need final approval from the FDA. Mass General has licensed its technology to medical device company Nine Point Medical to produce a commercial version. Tierney, who is an advisor to the company, says if approved, the pill device could be available in the next 12 months. Even then, it will need to win over doctors who will be considering competing technologies, like a tethered sponge capsule under development in England. I just relax it. I'm just going to slowly pull it back. Ed Burns says the procedure is easy. It feels like swallowing a hard candy. Once it's down beyond a certain point, you don't even feel it. He's undergone multiple endoscopies and says using the tethered pill instead has significant advantages. I don't have to lose any time from work. I don't need to get anyone to drive me. Um, it's painless. The technology gives the same, if not better, um, results. Then this is clearly a much better way to go. For CNN Money, I'm Bob Crowley.